Hi, my name's Mark. I'm one of the pastors here at Trillium. Misdirection. It's easy to be misdirected in life. At least that's been my experience. I get misdirected all the time. Sometimes people do it intentionally to me. Sometimes people do it unintentionally. I, 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 I like football, and I, I think that misdirection happens all the time in football. For instance, a quarterback will use the attention of the uh, opposition, the defense, and misdirect it in a play. So, for instance, they will be looking over at a part of the field to th potentially throw the ball at, trying to draw all the defender's attention over to that part of the field, and then at the very last second they'll switch attention and they'll put their attention exactly to where they want the ball to go and they'll throw it, hopefully making a great play, and in the process confusing the defense. Magicians will use misdirection in a very artful way. They'll draw our attention to a part of the trick they're trying to do that has absolutely no relevance to what's really happening. They'll draw our attention over here and take our attention away from the part of the, the trick that matters most. And in the process, something magical takes place because our attention has been misdirected. Politicians have a, a, often a, a real skill in misdirecting us. Uh, you'll hear a reporter or, or a commentator ask a question to a politician, and they will, in many cases, artfully switch the topic over to something they want to talk about. Very rarely do politicians ever answer a question directly. Sometimes in life, we accidentally or inadvertently misdirect people. I, I, I have seen that happen to me in many cases, getting caught up in other people's panic or worry or frustration and having it become my own too. Not even really understanding the underlying issues at all. I think it's also fair to say that we misdirect ourselves in life. <clears throat> we misdirect ourselves by our own thinking. My wife Sally had called me uh, a few weeks ago about, about getting some groceries. I was supposed to go Thursday night. We had agreed what I needed to get, but I uh, worked too late, didn't get to the store in time. So Friday morning I go to the store, I get all the groceries I was supposed to get. After work on Friday, she calls me and asks me if I'd gone to the supermarket. And had I seen the list? And I go, what list? Truthfully, I said to myself, what bleepin' bleepin' list are you talking about? The list that's on the refrigerator door. I look on the refrigerator door. By gosh, isn't there a list there with a whole set of other sets of goods I'm supposed to pick up? I didn't see no list there. And in that moment, I got defensive, a bit irritable, annoyed about this whole situation. My, my wife Sally was just asking me a simple question. Did you happen to see the list and did you pick up those things? If not, I'll go to the store and get them. For me, I, I interpreted that moment. I misdirected myself to think that she was judging me, condemning me. This happens to my life all the time. I get misdirected by my own thinking, my own intentions. There's, there's a, a reality of misdirection that can have sometimes tragic consequences. People can get misdirected down wrong roadways, wrong uh, <clears throat> places in geography. They can find themselves in really dire circumstances. Misdirection can happen in our communities too. We can focus our attention on the wrong things in life and place our energy on wrong places with wrong intentions. The gospel calls us to be God's hands of love in the moment to our neighbor. That's the, the call of the gospel. That's the good news, that we're to be the channels of God's perfect love to our, our neighbors. But it's so easy to have that primary impulse in life get misdirected, just to plain forget what the purpose of it all is in the end. When I, when I was a kid, we only had three channels on the TV set. I'd heard that there were other channels out there didn't know what they were for sure. I flipped the dial occasionally and I might get a, a faint image, but I couldn't tell for sure. There's a strong in, intention in, in life to misdirect you into the unessential, to the unlove of life. It happens to me too. My, my task is to remain on the channel of love and to allow God's love to pour through me to you.